Make sure my volume's up here. I think it is. All right. I was going to have uh, somebody help film this, but uh, kind of running out of time. I'm going to be getting back out in the woods here shortly. But uh, inside this bucket, I got two deer hides. Uh, one of them is from a buck that I killed this morning. And uh, I got three hides or four hides off of the processor. And they're, uh, they're sitting in here. I looked them over. Um, some of them, uh, I guess, were neck shot, but there's, you know, I picked the ones with the smallest holes or no holes at all in the body, and um, I was I was wanting to make a, a blanket or something out of some uh, deer hides that still have the fur on them, but I need a new set of buckskins, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do these where I'm going to take the hair off, and uh, the, the process for making buckskins is pretty much the same as just tanning a hide. You get it fleshed, and uh, that's, that's what I've been doing out here is here's my here's my fleshing beam this is a log buried into the ground it's set on a drop of a piece of i-beam from a from a construction job i worked a few years back and this thing's starting to get a little dirks bentley sideways on me from all the pushing and pulling and stretching on hides but uh and then the stainless steel serves me really really well um, that's also a drop from another job, but, uh, this, um, there, there is no ridges to snag the hide and rip flesh, or, uh, if you're doing a hide with the hair on, it doesn't really rip the hair off, like you can see the edge of this little knob right here, it's got, you know, some of this hair sticking to it, but these hides will be getting the hair removed. So it's not really that important. But uh, I got this big old barrel. And I filled it up with fresh water. And that is ash from my fireplace. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ash and dump it in there. And uh, using my, my trooper shovel there. Uh, we'll get stirred up probably two to three times a day. And um, as we go, I'll be I'm going to be fleshing these other three hides tonight so there'll be five hides going in and i'm going to attempt to get two of that size of barrel uh let me, let me give you something for reference here um uh, i'll put my wood ads next to it um that's the ads and that is the size of bucket you can kind of see it a little bit in relation to the 55 gallon barrel but uh that much ash two of those barrels should be sufficient to leach in through the hide, turn into lye mixed with that water, and allow the hair to slip more easily without waterlogging the hide and causing a goopy mess um, that you really can't work with. It makes it really difficult if you let it go too long. But normally this uh, takes a process of about three to five days depending on how many hides you got. This will be five hides in one barrel, so that's probably going to take five, maybe six days, but stir them every two or three, uh, two to three times a day um, each day. And like I said, I'm going to be adding another bucket of ash in there with it just to create more of the, more of the lye action um, to allow that hair to, to slip a little bit easier. But I'm just going to dump this right on top. And... Uh, give it a little stir here get that stuff mixed down in there really well um, it, it kind of starts looking like mud or cement and it, it looks horrible um, it's like man I, I almost hate to do that to, to a good looking fur but uh, it's a necessary evil and it actually produces a really good looking hide when it's done. It'll come out dang near paper plate white. Uh, and then after, after the hair is completely removed, um, this will be removed from the barrel. I generally take this down to the river and uh, have it uh, in shallow water where it's moving real quick. 
I'll just lay them hides out and uh, I'll normally bring a scraper of some sort with me and, and scrape over the hide and, and knock all that hair off and uh, a lot of varmints and stuff along the, the water like birds and other stuff they like that hair that helps build a nest other other critters use it for nesting and stuff like that so it doesn't hurt nothing the lie doesn't hurt anything it gets sifted out nature cleans it just like it cleans everything else uh, but uh that's kind of the process of making buckskins and uh, when this gets done um, i'll make another video of of getting it stretched out and uh getting the uh the brain mixed up with water and painting that into the hide because these are going to be brain tan buckskins and uh so that way you know if you're trying to learn how to make it or, or whatever i'm still learning you're always learning when you're doing this kind of stuff but uh so far the two hides that are in there i got about an hour maybe an hour 10 15 minutes worth of work already in this and i still got three more hides to flush before they go in there and you know another hour a day total of mixing and everything i mean it's you want to be a buck skinner there's a lot of work involved with it but uh the end result is something that you've crafted by hand and you can't beat that um so i mean if your product sucks you got nobody but yourself to blame so I enjoy taking my time with it, making myself a good pro quality product. I made my own possibles bags for my muzzle loading rifles. Uh, I've made fire kit bags and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and sometimes I'll sell a buck hide or a buck skin. But uh, here's his, here's his head. That's the that's the brain that's going to be going in there. Is that guy? He looks a little long in the face. He had a rough morning, but. Uh, Yep, that's that's kind of the the deal here. But uh, like us, subscribe to us. Go to um, well Facebook. Um, follow us on there. Like the page, Elk River Frontierman. I also got a group going. Anybody can join. Uh, I got a couple of questions that you that you got to answer. I appreciate if you answered. Uh, where we can kind of get to know each other, and and uh, you can jump in and start sharing pictures of. Or videos or whatever you got going on uh the club is uh or the group or whatever it's called is is ozark frontierman and that's where i'm at i am in the missouri ozarks just north of arkansas and uh very pretty country out here and uh hope everybody has a safe deer season and good luck